we first got into the um, swine contract business, we didn't realize the environmental impact we would have. We went from eight or 10 pigs in the backyard to uh, seven or 8,000. And from that point on, we promised that we would make an effort to try to lessen our impact. And that's how we got into the innovation. It just came along as part of trying to find alternatives to what we were doing. So we decided to partner with North Carolina EMCS in uh, South River Electrical Membership Cooperative because it was a perfect fit. Working together, we can create a tremendous environment in North Carolina because we have very similar goals in maintaining our sustainability, driving innovation into our businesses, and more importantly, bringing that together to create a very robust rural North Carolina. Three or four years ago, NCEMC saw that microgrids and battery storage were coming. We wanted to do some research and development and experiment with these, these microgrid ideas so that we could learn from them so that as they came more into the system, we would be able to effectively utilize them for the greater good of our membership. So we made the decision a few years ago to invest in, in a couple of microgrid projects. We had to find partners such as Mr. Butler, such as Power Secure, to work with to get these onto the ground and in the system. The components of this microgrid are the swine waste generator that Mr. Butler installed as well as his solar panels that he's installed. But then also behind me are the batteries that we installed and the controller associated with those. That controller is the brains of the microgrid. It looks at what's happening on the, the larger grid as well as the needs behind the scenes here on the farm and can send control signals to the batteries, to the generator, to the solar and help them to meet the needs of the farm and meet the needs of the community. Using swine waste as a renewable is easy. We have the resource here, which is animal waste. And if you'll put it in the right atmosphere, and if you mix it well, you will create methane. Now we're taking that methane from the pigs and putting it into a generator, and that will be another source on that utility. So when you can feed that whole grid, and the batteries will be sustained by that. For us to take these steps today, to take all this interesting technology, but more importantly, to integrate it into the grid, we need partners like Power Secure. They have brought their engineering prowess, their expertise, and their teamwork with our group to pull this together, and it really creates a stepping stone. So partners like Power Secure are invaluable to us and all the co-ops as we step forward. Because we want what's best for, for our customer, we really strive to develop the relationship. And part of that is working in the sense of putting together a solution with them and working with our engineering team to create that solution. Sometimes we have to either redevelop or re-engineer something that, uh, that we've worked on in the past. And sometimes it's a uh, completely new idea that we work on. And, and we do that because we're trying to build that relationship. A number of the cooperatives in the state utilize the, the services of Power Secure. Uh, they have a very good reputation, so it was kind of a natural fit. We needed someone like Power Secure to help make this happen. We have the manufacturing capabilities to be able to manufacture the products all in-house and give the customer a turnkey solution from start to finish, from the initial concept idea all the way through installation and commissioning. PowerSecure always partners with the local utility to make sure that we support the local area and the local community in the best way possible. We've always taken the approach that we want to be a part of their solution in very much a collaborative role. Their engineers are involved through the entire process along with our team. We're trying to keep our promise to the community that we will continue to look for ways to in lessen our impact it's something that will benefit agriculture in the state of North Carolina, which is our number one industry. And it will benefit our members as well and help us serve them better. I hope that the people in the neighborhood will see that they can gain other things from the farm, like when their electricity goes off, we can turn it back on.